Okay, hey everyone, so I'm back after Christmas. I uh, was hoping to be about, back making videos a bit earlier, but I uh, had a bit of a cold and it's just not been feeling that great. Just, yeah, you know, a bit of a cold and blocked up and all that, so been resting. But I'm back to it now, just had a nice delivery, got all my fittings, pipes coming on Monday. So, um, well on our way. This is the piece that's going to connect to the uh, the intake box. So I'm going to go up there, get the intake box, bring it back down here. And we're going to get that piece fitted onto the intake box. Okay, so I'm up by the intake box. See it's changed colour a little bit, but other than that it looks good. It's all working perfect. Um, I need to fill in those sides a little bit, like we spoke about before. But I'm going to take this off, empty it now, get that fitting attached to the bottom and then we'll put it back in and I'm going to wait for the stream to die down a little bit so I can fill in those gaps but it's just uh, there's a lot of water in it at the moment so it'll have to wait for now. Okay so it held up pretty good it's been a few weeks now um, it has got this, uh, this very very fine sand building up in the bottom of it I don't know if maybe I should have slightly smaller screen or whether I should just put something in the bottom here to drain out the slush I haven't decided on that yet but I'll do something about it um, I don't really want all of that going down the uh, going down the pipe potentially blocking the pipe in, in you know years to come and wearing down the uh, nozzle and turbine so I want to address that so that's good that I've learned that so now I've got to get this piece and somehow mount it onto there like that. That will definitely become a problem. Really fine sand is what that is. And that will put an end to my uh, Pelton wheel very quickly. So, don't know what I'm going to do about that just yet. I suppose that, I mean, the grain, the, it, they're so small, like it's such fine sand that I don't think I can get a filter small enough. Well, I can get one small enough, but I don't think I get enough water through it. So, I'll have to see what. So I'll have a bit of a research about that and see what see what people have done on online maybe. Alright, so that's what I've come up with. It is that hole is the size of that hole. And that piece is gonna sit on there like that. And that is gonna go squeeze onto there like that so it sits flush and then bolts on through it all. I know this isn't going to last forever, but it is going to last a lot longer than what you would think. It is a uh, larch heartwood, all of it is, and it's very durable. This will last in that stream. Put it this way, the, the pipe and everything and all of the other stuff is probably going to, and the turbine will need maintenance long before like big maintenance long before this wood rots. I've heard a lot of comments about, about that so the things I've built aren't going to last because they're not treated. It's naturally treated. It doesn't need treatment. Treatment is for when you have cheap woods that aren't durable and they put treatment on them, chemical treatments to make them durable. This wood is naturally durable and it will last as long if not longer than treated wood so you can discuss that in the comments about how how I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing if you if you feel the need but just to clarify it is not the same as using untreated wood like pine or something this is larch heartwood it's very durable so I'll probably get some uh, some silicon and stuff in here. 
Let's see how this fits. Perfect fit. So just check the holes all lining up. Yeah, feels good. Now I'm wondering if uh, if I need to put in a drain plug because this this length of this bit of pipe that fits into this is not going to be buried and it will be removable with a bit of uh, tugging and stuff. I'm wondering if if I was to remove it, if I would be able to put my hand in there and clear all the the junk out, which I can, but I'm not sure what that'd be like all underneath it and stuff. So. I think a drain plug in the side is probably a wiser decision. siliconed in. I've got these nice stainless steel uh, bolts, screwing bolts that I'm going to use. can't remember the name of them. I can never remember the name of them. But yeah, with a nice big washer. Stainless, as I say, they're going to be perfect. So I'm going to get them in there and then that's going to all tighten down and that'll be ready. on there really nice job stainless steel fittings real good quality stuff so I get that fitted back on once I find the right thing I'll put a little clear out thing on the side here but I can get to that while it's in the stream no problem so I'll do that after so that's it that's how the pipe attaches so I'm gonna get that back in the stream and then fill in those gaps and then pipes come in Monday start running the pipe exciting times okay so I made a few modifications to it uh, like we spoke about uh, plane down this so the water sticks to this a bit so it doesn't just drop off the edge like it was doing before so you have less of a, a cavity under there so I think the water will flow down that much nicer now it'll still jump a little bit to about there but before it was coming to about here so that's an improvement and I've changed the angle of this as well so this now slopes downwards you see on the level so the water will flow down that nicer so I'm going to take it back up there now and put it back in the stream Right, let's lift this thing in. Okay, she's back in place, so looks to be working pretty well. I'm capturing lots of water, as you can see. A lot of water's being lost around the side still, but we know about that. That's going to be solved. But that what's coming out of there currently is about probably about three liters a second. So if we had the pipe attached to that now, that'd actually be working. That's plenty of water coming out of there already. I've uh, put in a bit of tarp to help direct the flow of water into the screen a little bit. I can't do much with it, it's just so much water and other than like building a dam and diverting the water around which I'm not really inclined to do because I know the stream will, the flow will drop down come sort of springtime and I can do everything I need to do much easier then um, I'm thinking that I'll probably just wait till then and for now this is more than enough water coming through here that's uh, coming out of there, that's way more water than I can put through the turbine that's, um, that's a lot of water there that's about five, six, five, six litres a second at least, probably more than that. So, and, I, and the turbine's only rated for four, so that's, I, I'm collecting more than enough water. The screen isn't clearing itself as well as I'd like, but I'm not sure if that's because, um, because I haven't got that um, pressure in it, which isn't pushing water up here, which means that it's continuously sucking rather than flowing lots of water over. So I don't know, it doesn't seem to work in that great for, for leaves and debris at the moment. 
we'll see, we'll work with it. I'm not gonna, another reason I don't wanna fix it completely in place, because I might have to change something there. But we're gonna get power out of it, and it's a good thing to get us started, figure out the system, and then come back to it, make modifications. So it's gonna work, we're gonna have power out of that pipe in there. Water down the hill, through the turbine, power, awesome.